Welcome to my new show. Uh, these landscape paintings are mostly um, from the views near my house, and I just love sunsets. Um, my husband calls me up from Morrow Bay and says, Sunset alert! So I run out to the sand spit and take a picture, and then I transform it into a painting. So this is my newest painting here. As you can see, uh, the sunset was especially colorful and had lots of reflections in the water. And then up here is a, a winter sunset with two kayakers going along, uh, enjoying the beauty of the um, colors. When uh, I, this is uh, actually from uh, the view from 46, looking down towards Route 1 and into the sunset there. We had quite an unusual sunset um, with the clouds uh, changing colors and just a little, little bit of red land down there. And this is a dock. Uh, they always make it really interesting to have the reflections of the coast. Up here is a uh, dock you might all recognize in Cayucas. And this amazing burst of color is called Celestial Light. This one is back at our, near our house. This is the sun spit, sand spit with the trees going along and all the wonderful colors that uh, are faithfully reflected in the water. So this little one is from summer. And the light is softer and uh, the pink reflections uh, mix in with the clouds here that actually get into the painting. And if, if you were a little standing back a little further, you'd see all the kayaks that are parked around. There must be 75 or 100 of them. This one is called red and blue in love. That's because they're interacting, intertwining with each other across this uh, sand spit and floating through the air. And it's uh, been a lot of fun. This is Mood Indigo, which is a famous uh, jazz tune. Uh, it's our view out our uh, dining room window. And this particular night, the uh, sun had, had made these amazing little dots in the windows across the bay, as well as these interesting patterns in the water. So I liked it because it's such a contrast between the orange and the dark blue. And the sky is uh, dancing around. and. Everyone's having a good time. Oh, this is called Tidal Magic. Uh, it's in the same uh, part of the uh, bay. And um, I just love how the color changes from one set to the other. There's never been a sunset I didn't like. It's also a very uh, recent painting with the same two kayakers. Um, believe it or not, it's the same night as the other one, which had much more pink and purple in it, and this amazing red and orange uh, with the little glow reflecting over the sand spit is one that I like a lot. This one you can actually see the sun before it dips down behind the sand spit. Um, and I really like the amazing glow of the orange and the orange and yellow of the sun uh, reflected in the water. It's called Radiant Sunset. This is called Impressions of Light. It's uh, four and a half feet long. And it's a favorite of mine. Um, 
it's unusual for me in that it's mostly pastels, and um, the pastels just sort of envelop the uh, pieces of land and the science spit and make a lovely scene. Thank you. Uh, these small paintings are uh, just a lot of fun. The red uh, bird is uh, one that was hanging out at Lake Laguna, and I just thought it was very enchanting. The mushrooms are based on uh, the influence of Itu Jakutu, who was a very famous painter in Japan in the 18th century. He would paint these 40-foot long scrolls of uh, vegetables um, for his clients. I don't know how he ever hung them up, but this is just uh, a little piece of one of the scrolls. And then the last one is uh, some lupin from last spring that were popping up everywhere and making life cheerful. Thank you.